So former Florida State Seminole and first overall pick, Jameis Winston. Uh, he's now the Browns' backup quarterback. On what it's been like for him to work with Ken Dorsey, who is from the University of Miami. One, the most important thing I learned is, is that, you know, Miami Hurricanes aren't that bad. Uh, but, but really, I've I, I really enjoyed his coaching presence. What we do on the field in terms of drill work has been fine, fine work. You know, one, one of my favorite quarterback coaches uh, that worked with Payne Manning, Clyde Christensen, uh, Mike Bajakian, they, they always worked on the feet. And, uh, and I'm just so happy uh, that, that that is what he's emphasizing with his feet, with his timing, and also him installing the plays, you know, him calling the plays. Uh, man, he's definitely been in this position. It, it seems as if he's been in this position before, and I'm just happy that we're able to communicate. And it's very important to me because this is a new offense for me. So us communicating, me continuing to learn, and him being tough on us and challenging us to get better, challenging us to be quicker and faster, uh, it, it's truly been a blessing. Again, Quincy, the, the reason I play that, Dorsey's a really good quarterback coach. At the Combine, people said, he's yeah, he's a good offensive coordinator. He is a phenomenal uh, quarterback coach. So that should help Deshaun Watson as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely should be something that helps Deshaun. Jameis as well, um, a good quarterback coach helps your wide receivers too, right? Um, and I think he's going to have a huge impact in that area. Um, I think – Ken Dorsey was a really underrated hire, kind of in the same way that we felt the same way about uh, Jim Schwartz, right? Because it's funny now people act like hiring Jim Schwartz was like the easiest hire the Browns could do because it worked out. But that was not who a lot of people were suggesting the Cleveland Browns should hire immediately. We had those conversations. Jim Schwartz was somebody we were all ultimately fine with, but it was not the number one name on the list. And there was actually a lot of people disappointed when they announced that they hired Jim Schwartz. Um, and I think it was similar with Ken Dorsey this year, right? A lot of people were disappointed, but I think a year from now, we're going to look at that and be like, well, that was the obvious choice that made the most sense given what his track record was. So yeah, I think Ken Dorsey, um, you know, we don't know what happened with him in Buffalo as an offensive coordinator, but we do know what his former quarterbacks say about him. And it's almost unanimously great stuff. And, and Cam Newton doesn't go out of his way to praise a lot of his former <laughs> position coaches. So the fact that he's doing that for Cam um, tells you everything you need to know.